he had like blankets and pillows and like a bed made out and the bed of his truck looked like someone was gonna sleep in it. Yeah, he had like this gigantic bottle of orange juice that I've never, yeah, I've never seen it. I've never seen a bottle of orange juice so big in my life. So that was kind of hot. We pulled into Chipotle, like, right in the front, and he already had, like, a big McDonald's cup with, like, ice in it. It already had ice in it, but nothing else. I think there was some orange juice in the cup at that time, and he told me to grab the orange juice and pour myself some orange juice. Did you do that? Yeah. I, what happened after you got got the food from Chipotle? I got into his truck and I, we pulled out of the parking spot and that, that's all I remember. That's the, the last, that's all I remember. The next thing I knew, I woke up in the hospital. It was all I remember is pulling out of Chipotle. <laughs> and after Schuster left, she crashed into utility workers on Cox Road. Three were seriously hurt. One was killed. Schuster is charged with nine counts, including aggravated vehicular homicide. Prosecutors say she knowingly took Xanax that day. Today, jurors heard from investigators who say they found two and a half Xanax pills in her purse which was with her in her car. Now, yesterday, Be uh, Bowman told the jury he did not drug Schuster. He called himself a sugar daddy and says over the last two years that he's known her, he spent thousands of dollars on her. He said their relationship was sexual, a claim Schuster denied on the stand today. Reporting live in Hamilton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right.